What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. My name is Mike and I love meat. Get your smokers fired up because today we are smoking some swordfish steaks. Let's do it. Alright everyone, come on in, come on in. We have a great cook today. I have a couple swordfish steaks. Swordfish is a beautiful fish, very flavorful. These are some thick cuts. They're gonna be awesome. We have a simple marinating process we're gonna do before we pop them in the smoker. So let's get started. So to start, I did brine these swordfish steaks overnight. Simple mixture, water, salt, brown sugar. Took them out today, ran them under cool water, patted them dry. Now we're gonna throw them in a simple marinade. I got a freezer bag, one gallon. And I'm just gonna dump all my ingredients into the bag. Got about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. About two tablespoons, some minced garlic. Get that garlic in there. I got one tablespoon of coarse black pepper, and then I got half, small part of a lemon, and I'm just gonna squeeze the lemon juice in there. You can just use pre-squeeze. I'm just gonna throw a lemon right in. We're gonna mix this mixture up, get it all over the bag inside. All right, from here, you can add some salt and call it a day on your marinade and you could just be good to go. Or you can add a seafood rub, which is what I'm going to add. And I have some meat so horny, peckers, chugging beer can, chicken, and seafood rub that I'm gonna add to this bag and to this marinade. Get a bunch of good shakes. That's all you gotta do. Get that bag nice and covered. We have a good marinade going. We're gonna add our swordfish. Yes, sir. Then you can gently mix it up inside the bag. Be a lot cleaner if I had a pair of gloves. That's okay. Wash your hands after, ain't gonna kill no one. Yeah, nice and messy. Mm -hmm. Smells really, really good. We're just gonna close up our bag. Give it another mix. We want to make sure we have all that flavor bathing in the swordfish. Really good. This is going to come out really awesome. You can see we have a good coating inside of our swordfish. Some good black pepper, some good lemon, some oil, and our rub. From here, we're just going to put it in the fridge, let it marinate for an hour or two, then we'll take it out and go pop it in the smoker. All right, y'all, we're out here at the Po Man Grill. We got it running at 200 degrees. I'm feeling this cook with some Jealous Devil Max, extra large briquettes, and using chunks of cherry wood for this swordfish. Since I'm running the Po Man at a lower temperature to get it to 200 degrees, I only filled the charcoal box up about a third of the way. We're keeping this lid cracked a little bit more than we normally would, and we'll be able to run steady at 200. I'm using the meter plus to monitor the internal temp of this swordfish. We want a final internal temp of 145 degrees, but I'm setting it on the app to get us to 120 degrees. When we hit that 120 mark, we'll come out and get to the next step. All right, y'all, so we hit 120 degrees in our swordfish. The meter plus called me. It only took just over an hour. Let's take a look. Looking pretty good. Let's take our thermometer out there. You're gonna get your swordfish, put it in some foil. Wrap it on up. So while our fish is in foil, we're gonna let our pool man climb. We're gonna get a good sear on the swordfish. We're just adding a couple more chunks. Some jealous devil briquettes to get a little hotter. We're gonna take the drip pan off, move the grill grate down, get right over this hot heat. We're just gonna put the lid back on and let it get really hot. It should only take a few minutes. All right, so the po man, nice and hot. Get your swordfish. Nice and careful, lack. Put it right on your grill. 
So now you're just gonna wanna get a good sear on your fish. Flip it for a couple minutes on each side. We'll make sure you have an internal temp of 145, then we'll pull it and eat. And with that, our smoked swordfish steaks are complete. We smoked them to an internal temp of 120 degrees and finished them with a quick sear on the po' man. I just used my Inkbird Instant Read to make sure we got them to 145. Now we're ready to just eat. We'll waste no time. I don't want fish to get cold. Just gonna get my knife. Oh yeah, it's good. Swordfish. Wow, there is a really good flavor with all of that lemon, that rub that we use from Meat So Horny, that cracked pepper. Get a couple more slices here. I'm just using my fingers. I'm gonna get a gosh darn. The swordfish has such a sweet flavor. It's really, really good. It's not too fishy. If you're worried about it being too fishy, it's really not. And it's really, really flavorful. Mm. Good taste of that lemon and that garlic, I'm telling you. Man, I've smoked all types of seafood, salmon, scallops, octopus. Swordfish is definitely up there because you get a good, smoky, and juicy fish when you pull it off the smoker. Swordfish, baby, mm, give me a big chunk just like that. It's all about how you prepare it and how we prepare that with that marinade, with that olive oil, with that meat so horny rub, black pepper, that lemon, the meter plus, got us that an internal temp, po man grill doing work as always to give us some amazing food off of the smoker. If you've never had swordfish or you're thinking about trying it, get yourself a couple swordfish steaks. Get some good wood, we use good cherry wood to get some good flavor into this swordfish. Put it on your smoker, you're gonna love it. Stay tuned for the next video.